Oh, well. <clears throat> Weasley. What's the difference? Is my eyes showing gun? Oh my god, yes, my eyes is showing gun. Oh yes. <clears throat> Eye color. Oh, yes. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to... I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Check the face. Oh. This one, yeah. Look at those eyes. Oh, this is, yeah, I can see the eyes. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. <laughs> Time to use my control. <clears throat> oh my god, so white. Ah, it appears we are almost ready to depart. <laughs> it's a pity we didn't have <laughs> a bit more time face. to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well... I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. Oh, yeah, You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me before the time begins. Oh! <laughs> Eleazar! George! Glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> 
Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theatergoers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eliasar. Mm. Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea! As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Mm, so Ages innocent. since I've been to the castle. <laughs> Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. London. <clears throat> Wonder who my parents are. Ah, oh, yes, Rookwood. your traveling companion a new student new yes sir i'm starting school as a oh my god those eyes how extraordinary it is indeed none of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to hogwarts so late nor have i of course as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now the headmaster asked if i could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Mm. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> have you seen this? I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. God. Voldemort. <clears throat> Merlin's beard. How did you... Wait! We do... Oh. Bye-bye. Give me your hand! 
Are you all right? You're hurt. Perhaps a bit. Take this. It's Wigan World Potion. That stuff will write you in a second. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I love that uh, the birthmark or something like that. Oh, George. I can't believe he. What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage midair? A typical dragon would never. Professor? Professor. Sir, where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. I'm feeling better, sir, if you'd like to look around a bit. I would. But stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. Or why. from London and the carriage travelled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. Sir, those ruins, do you think... The port key was meant to lead us there. I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. Mind your step. I'll be fine. Where do you suppose your wife got the port key that brought us here? A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long-forgotten form of ancient magic. Ancient magic? Yes. A powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been rare lost to time. Few. Hogwarts Castle was built by and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key. But I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, oh, there's the path down below. This way. <laughs> Professor, you're slow. But sir, why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. <laughs> What really matters is the one who wields it. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus on the center. Excellent. I'll wait to get my Voldemort's wand. That was a bit rougher than I'd expected. Your wand works improving with every cast. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Professor Slughorn. Oh, well. Uh, We're close now, it's just ahead. St 
steady yourself! Reparo! Almost there! Why would someone have built this here? I suspect they valued their privacy. That porky led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. Professor, it's a mural of some kind. Hmm. Perhaps our host was a noted seer. Interesting. Professor, this statue. Oh, I can't this really may have been his home. That enchanted crystallized stone again. But what could it be blocking? What's this? Professor Fig! How odd. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again, like the glow on the port key container. What in Merlin's name? Godric's heart. Where are we? I don't believe it. Hello? Just a moment. <laughs> oh, <clears throat> uh, <we're> here. <laughs> <clears throat> mm. Welcome to Gringotts <laughs> Wizarding Bank. Vault number twelve, I presume. <clears throat> Precisely. The key. Hmm. Your wife's port key. Oh, yes, of course. This way, then. Stay close. I'll be fine. After you. Keep your hands inside the cart if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> How many volts are there in Green Cots? Hundreds. In fact, you'll see quite a few on our way to vault number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vaults you see now are the newest. Are private entrances to the bank common at Gringotts? They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. 
You'll want to take a breath. A what? That waterfall washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. What happens if there's earthquake now? Vault number... Vault 12. Momentous day! <laughs> hmm. On your way. They want to feel that power. Professor, hmm? the armband that guard was wearing was glowing. Like the glow you saw on the porky container? No, darker. I saw that same glow on the dragon's collar. Yeah, what was that? We were just wondering about that goblin back there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. Mm -hmm. Here we are. When was the last time this vault was accessed? A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12 until today. Shit. Vault 12. Thank you for your help. Okay, but like... What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait! That Dublin. Best of luck. <sighs> Professor? That was certainly unexpected. Let me think. There must be something here. Hmm. Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. I wonder what happens if you... Oh... That's... Oh, I thought like... A magical thing happened. Revelio. There! I saw something! Revelio. Move a bit closer and try again! A door? Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to... I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw on the port key container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. Lumos! This is no ordinary vault. I suspect oh, my we hair. need to earn our <laughs> way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't Rebellion. say. Stay close. Am I... Do I have... Oh, I, I don't have any gear. Shit. Well, I don't have the book. No oh, yeah. if I, need, I need the book. Poorly. 
not out of Gringotts. I see something up ahead. What the is bellio. it? That glow again, but on the floor. Lumos! What happened? When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue? What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Revelio! I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait. When you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. Lumos, sir. Lumos. Well done. Now the reflection is turning towards me. It does follow the light. Lumos. Professor! Professor Fig! Professor, where are you? This isn't good. Where am I supposed to go? Revelio. What's happening? The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. Revelio. That's where they're leading me. That glow again. Revelio. Lumos. Revelio. I suppose I'm on my own this time. It seems I have no choice. I'm going to have to fight my way out of here. There you go. Stupid boss.
Rebellion. Lumos. Rebellion. Lumos. Hmm, I forgot is there a chest here. Rebellion. Is that a pensive? Uh, there you are. How did you? What is this place? I don't know. But I found this floating above that basin. It's a trial. That is no mere basin. Pensive. That is a pensive for viewing memories. I wonder. Follow my lead. Too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the ritual wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We will... It all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in here. <laughs> I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. <coughs> uh, sir, they had the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have... Oh. I have 
no patience for traitors. Now, where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. <laughs> Are you all right? Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both, wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. Good. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. <laughs> now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Of course, you. sir. Ready for the sorting ceremony? Phineas, Nigellus, Black. Prepare yourself to meet the Headmaster. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. <clears throat> I'll be in touch.
Professor Weasley! We've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. You come here with... I'm looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Hmm. Indeed. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit. But hmm. You're clever indeed. You have the ability. Perhaps you belong in... No. I detect a growing sense of ambition, an eagerness for power. You belong in Slytherin! <laughs> oh, and one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Enough! It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. But don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm... Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honour to show you to your common room. Just like right seeing Slytherin. It's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. It may be a bit of a challenge, but one I'm sure you're up for. I can be quite resourceful. I suspected as much. This is the entrance to the Slytherin common room. In order to enter, one must simply speak the correct password. Aspiration. Aspiration. Very well. Aspiration. Well done. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. Looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. Revelio.
Well, it's simple though. Yo. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> I have Sharingan eyes. But it's pretty fade fade though, like yeah. I look like Tom Riddle the the movie in the Half Blood Prince. So this is Slytherin. My main character is a, a Ravenclaw though. <laughs> He, he's a full aura character. So this is a female one? Rebellion. Oh. Okay, so that's the male, this is the female? Oh shoot. Seems that's off limits to me. Ah, so it does. A female version, okay. That's nice. I suppose some introductions are in order. I'm a Tom Riddle. I'm a Riddler. Okay. Can't imagine this late. Yo. All the pure bloods. Can't wait to see my. Already knew that. Oh look! Can I help you? Ah, oh, you're the new fifth year. I'm Sebastian Sallow. Welcome to Slytherin. Oh, look, the, thank you. The Not animation everyone has Lamont. a ministry escort to school. He was a friend of Professor Figs, who merely joined us for the ride. Still, impressive. Dreadful way to go, poor fellow. Glad you and Fig are all right. Oh my god, that face! <laughs> it was exciting. It was dreadful, certainly, but quite an experience nonetheless. <laughs> Interesting perspective. <laughs> How did you and Fig manage to escape? It's all still a bit of a blur, to be honest. Didn't mean to press. You just get yourself settled. We can talk more later. What book were you reading? A spell book I picked up. Dark arts, Has a few interesting maybe? things, but not exactly what I was looking for. I'm sure you'll find out soon enough. I'm using but a mod for Sebastian's face. Yeah. Found in our assigned that textbooks. is in the description, actually. So, what do you mean? Are you saying some spells aren't taught at Hogwarts? Which ones? Which ones? Seems I may have met a kindred spirit. <laughs> that is a conversation for another time. It was good meeting you. Good luck today. Amelia Amelda Pretty basic though the room Can't you can't break oh man Hmm, that's boring. I want to play Quidditch professionally when I'm older. I'd make a marvelous chaser. I don't like flying on a broom. I prefer to <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. I really hope we get to see, or at least hear one today. Ominous gaunt. I, I think I heard one. Doubt mermaids find us that interesting. Ah, based on all the chatter when you entered the common room, I'm guessing you're the new fifth year. I'm Ominous. Ominous Gaunt. Nice to meet you, Ominous. Well, you certainly had a memorable arrival. Well, if I'm going to make my mark here, I had to start right away. <laughs> <laughs> you're definitely in the right house. Do let me know if I can be of any help as you navigate your first days here. Though I doubt you'll need it.
Did you suspect you're being slithered? Were you expecting to be sourced yeah, in Slytherin? Yeah, gaunt. Most certainly. My family on my father's side are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Not something I'm especially proud of, mind you. He was obsessed with blood status, a pure blood maniac. Unfortunately, blood. most of his descendants do not fall far from that tree. Did that student say he thought he heard a mermaid? <laughs> yes, but I've never heard of a mermaid showing up outside our common room window. It is fun to play along, though. <laughs> Been known to keep some first years on the lookout for hours. Thank you, Ominous. Very nice to meet you. Pleasure was all mine. Don't be a stranger. Uh, might want to think that again. <laughs> Ugh, not going to move there, are you? Here, watch this. Don't say I didn't warn you. Oh my god, seriously? Checkmate. I love the, I love the mod the community, seriously, playing, doing this game. You should have listened to me. Ah, oh, I know who you are. You're the new Slytherin, the one who barged in with Professor Fig last night. Interesting tactic on your first day, taking all the attention away from the first years. I'm Amelda, by the way. Shame I wasn't with you and Fig. Who's I could have lured them? that dragon away. My skills in a broom are legendary. Oh my god, my eyes. <laughs> we handled it. And I think you're underestimating the nature of a dragon. A broom would have been kindling. <laughs> <laughs> Not the way I fly. Perhaps one of these days I'll show you a thing or two about flying. I can teach you more than Kagawa ever could. Speaking of which, I'd like to get in some time on my broom before classes. Are you a keen wizard chess fan? You knew that boy was going to lose the match. Not really. Much too sedate a pastime for me. Also, it's simply not that challenging. The moves are always so obvious. Why does no one else see it? Do you have a lot of time to fly during school? I make the time. There's nothing like swerving through the spires of the castle and around the Quidditch pitch to clear the mind. Mm. Goodbye, Amelda. Nice meeting you. Is the new fifth year Slytherin in here? Professor Weasley's waiting for you just by the stairs. This boats. Rebellion. Hmm. So this is the... Hello, Weasley. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us, especially as you'll be expected to com- OWLs? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. After much discussion with the headmaster wizard. and the Department of Magical Education- I don't need this. <laughs> Here you are. My god, what can go wrong? A boy with dark magic. Holding a book. This much power. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. <laughs> Cool. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action. Walk with me and we shall... This way. Wait, let me just, uh... No! Can't access my book. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. 
Wait, this a uh, this a flame? Oh, is it? Wait, why, why, why is it not? The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate Lumos. yourself about wizarding law. Do keep up. Why don't you cast Revelio on that statue? Revelio. And see what details the field guide can provide. My gear. Yes. Oh no, why is it black? see my face let me just open for more opportunities like that inside and outside of the castle <laughs> Revelio timing perfect opportunity to show you how to use flu flames to get around a bit quicker your field guide contains a map of the castle open it up and find central hall And here we are, quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. King's Cross Station. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to it. And I'd like to be sure you get... What will I learn? Exactly what I think you will in Oh, I will enjoy that. Can you tell me? Defense against a mastery, fortunately. You mentioned Hogsmeade. You should be a you will also Thank you, Professor. A lot to absorb on you. Happily, your professors judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier. He did, Professor. He's been my suspicion is 
<laughs> did take a bit of a detour on the way here. Mm -hmm. Ended up exploring some ruins and... Exploring ru... Professor Fig. Oh? Yes. You... Ah, uh, I'm afraid... I hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one perfectly good boat. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon. Very well. Might I rely on... Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And invite... Yes, Professor. Come and fight, and we'll see if we... It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I... Did I hear you... Yes, sir. But I didn't tell her anything else about her travels here. I will say, I think she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time, and she may feel obliged. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, happily, you have the benefit of... Speaking of guides, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we inc Unfold it and have a look. Uh -oh. oh, it's a track. Ah. Maybe Osa. Mm -hmm. Takats. The map is in charge. This will be incredibly helpful. Now, sounds like you've quite... You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exception. I shall reach out when I have more information. For now, f Revelio. I'm getting my one best. Revelio. Revelio. Oh, oh, oh. Nice and warm. Fills our stout hearts with joy to be in the presence of such arrogance. Painting a Villiers. Revelio. How nice to see you, my young friend. you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, 
You may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso? A levitation charm? Levioso! A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now. Let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Ah. Uh. Levioso. Now, let's try something a little larger. Let us begin with a basic cast. See how the dummy deflected your cast? This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprised opponent is a weak opponent, as Master Pruitt so artfully helped me demonstrate earlier. Levioso, good. Now, the basic cast. Well done. Levioso. Very good, but the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelist, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. <laughs> this should be easy. Protego! Complicates things. Lucky. Nothing lucky about it. Stupid Stupid I know. Levioso. This can't be your first duel. Let's just say I'm a quick learner. Protego, stupid one. Only all of my students were this adept. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. I put you on the spot, and you wrote... Thank you, Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great... I demand excellence from my students. They... Weapon. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. All right, that's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. Oh, I'm not much for dueling. I prefer to keep things friendly. Levioso.
I'd hate to face Professor Hecate in a duel. If you know the right spells, it's dark wizards that'll fear you, not the other way around. You drooled Sebastian. He's strong competition. Well done. Huh. Always thought Levioso was for first years. Not anymore. Nice work. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? Felt more like I was dueling an expert. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps... I've dueled enough. Consider... Huh. Fair enough. You know... Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me in. Excellent. If you want to get them, whether it's joining us, you just have to... Thank you, Sebastian. Good. Perhaps somewhere... Look for Luke and... Till next time. Poor Susan in those second house. Looks like her grandmother in them. Smells like her too. My family and I travel somewhere every summer. I'm dying to visit Romania. I'd love to see a dragon. Rebellion! Professor Ronan Survey tends to go on a bit. Like a we sometimes have to remind him to finish the lesson. Fancy saying that. Some of us don't necessarily so want him well. to get back to the lesson. If someone says you have eyes like a demigod, is that a compliment? I need to catch up on my letter writing. I think my owl's getting cobwebs. Come now, Annabelle! And then the werewolves join the goblins, goblins in the uprising. Werewolves, where were you? In the Goblin Rebellion of 1752. And by the end of it, the Minister for Magic was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. <gasps> oh, what fun! I won't say my goodbyes. I shall cheer for the boy who says you're telling lies. I'm not telling lies, Peeves. It was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. It was Basil Flat. Oh, fight, fight! It's a bold attack. Was the Minister a boot or the Minister a flat? Stop it, Peeves, you'll get us in trouble. In trouble you will be, but you can't give Peeves a smack. She says it's a boot, and he says it's a flat. Peeves, enough. You'll get us all detention. Oh, and you're both wrong anyway. It was Hephaestus Gore. It wasn't boot and it wasn't flack, but you're all in trouble with Professor Black. <laughs> Revelio. I tried to hide a puff scheme once in the corner of the There's only one common room that everyone wishes they could get in, and that's Hufflepuff. Been that way for a thousand Levioso. Also garlic says. <laughs> oh, I 
remember that day. Yes, in Greenhouse. Oh, yes. You've mm -hmm. hidden the bucket of leaping toadstools over at the far end. Uh, I do recall now. Knocked it over and we ran out. I got told off for that. What are you up to now? Here, behind you, there is an open oh, seat yes, here. Oh yes, I Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right, now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. Akio. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just. Hmm. I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of... Very simply, Akio. ask Akio on one of this excellent control there. That's it! Now, uh, think of the... Don't lose your composure! Am I too fast? Very good! Point! Well, there's certainly no sport in playing without some fri- Miss Onai would- Come on up! You'll be the blues, just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. Here we go! There we go. Akio. What's in here? Very good. Lisa. Oh, 
Oh man. Nicely done. Watch this. Wait, are you gonna knock? Huh? That is how it's done. Akio. A perfect score. Remarkable. Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Here we go. Phew. Akio. was an execution. Let us see this. Hey. Let's fake. <laughs> there we go. Akio. Watch this. Watch this. Oh, thanks. That is how it's done. Quite impressive. Good, both of you. Well done. Ah. I need to get my wand. Class is dismissed. You need to get things on the way out. I need to get my wand. Good game back there. I must admit, I think I underestimated you. Took me weeks to become proficient. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. Thank you, but I've been holding my own. I appreciate your call. I transferred Confidence. here from Wagadu. Just my mother. Wagadu. Before I knew you. Um, this may seem an Spells cast without a wand must be less powerful than those cast with a wand. No, no, not at all. Wizarding magic cast without a wand is just as powerful. Mm. I find wandless magic to be much more instinct. I must admit, however, that... Is Wagadu... Its address is Mountains of the Moon. Mountain of I the remember Moon. The... And then it... Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic... But it never seemed it. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Wagadu. Of course, you can use Akio on humans, if you're so inclined. Well. You'd be using it on clothing, to be precise, Sebastian. You know it won't work on humans.
Professor Ronan reminds me of my grandfather. Accio. Loads of wisdom, but a bit mad. After my brother learned the summoning charm, it was constant Accio this, Accio that, cutlery flying everywhere. Quite unsafe, really. Unsafe? A word, if you would. You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? You did well, managing to best as gifted a student as Miss Onai. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> <laughs> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Dun, dun, dun. What's next? Hello there. You're the new student, aren't you? Hello. You wanted to speak to me? Samantha Dale. I've been eager to meet you. You're the student everyone's been whispering about. Hope your first day's going well. You <laughs> certainly seem to hold your own in charms. Yeah, sure. Thank you, but it really wasn't all that challenging. My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Wait. Then again, he it's tends humbling. to be a bit overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I find Professor Ronan's lessons a bit more challenging than you do. <laughs> hey, what else? I forgot. Revelio. 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 Levioso. Accio. Levioso. <laughs> I'm so sorry. said that travel broadens the mind. What about the room, Professor? I was what thinking the hell? Of your eyes. Perhaps you could help. <laughs> Deke's eyes. Deke's eyes. Oh, excuse <laughs> Deke. <laughs> ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as Seems Professor Fit. I'd wager there's a good... Have you and Professor Fig not discussed? He continues to be reticent about the details, mentioning only a few spe... That's correct, Professor. I see. Like, regardless, in that regard... 
I'm not sure. You shall find him fat now. We've arranged to. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Olive, you've managed your. There's an Ollivander's. There is. Mr. Olive, I would trust no. I've never heard. A spellcraft. I shall explain. Mm. Can you tell me more about the Pope? J. Pippin's Professor Shop. I'm eager to get dogs. Very well. Perhaps Sebastian. How about Natty? I'd like to go with Natty. Excellent choice. Miss Own Eye is I've one of our most talented students. And she knows the area. She'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather uns... Once you've finished, Professor Ronan, no time to waste. Oh, I've never been... Assignments. Repair. Ah, there you are. You have a new spell to teach me. Indeed I do. Fixes things right. Hmm. It seems as if that... More frequently. As professor, a number of you... I have a ring. Why must I first complete task? No lesson or let Such experience... I'll start on the task right away. Here. Got it. A flying page must be around here somewhere. Brilliant. I trust the preliminary task. I completed the assignment. Marvelous. Let us give the old. Remember to be. Yes, sir. Remember. Your wand is a conduit of your magic. Good. Akio. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. Repair. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. <laughs> Oops. Repair. Something quite satisfying about using the mending charm, isn't there? You can. Repairer. Ah, oh, well, fine. Rebellion. Uh, I'm not gonna do that for a while. Difficult as it seems. There's a mission. Yeah, what the hell? What was that? Oh, the fountain. I can't believe that. Something in there, I just know it. Hello, I don't believe we've met. Oh, hello, I'm Lenora. Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty. Are there any other empty? Yes, a few. If I can work out the. Have you gained any insights about the painting since you've been studying it? I did discover that casting loom. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. I've been wrecked. Lumos. 
Do come and find me if you... That spot must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. How much longer do you think Black will be survived? Lumos. Let's get you back to your frame, little moth. There was a connection. I should tell Lenora that I solved the puzzle of that empty frame. I believe Revelio. Wait, no. Lenora, I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? I'm not gonna tell you. I'm afraid I can't tell you, Lenora. <laughs> Surely you jest. I am. I am only joking. I found the location oh, depicted shit. in the painting no. and then I cast... All very logical. You have a knack for... Oh no, oh, no, 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 back, 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 back. No. No. <laughs> I don't like that. Like a mouth in the flame. Lenora, I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? I'm not gonna tell you. I'm afraid I can't tell you, Lenora. Surely you jest! <laughs> you should have worked it out on your own. You have nerve! <laughs> Especially since I'm the one who told you about it in the first place! <laughs> Imagine solving a riddle that I mentioned and then not telling me the answer! Practically competing with an elder to see who's a more infuriating know-it-all. <laughs> Oh god, it's good to be evil. Next person. I've been collecting chis puzzle Ah uh, yes, the book. I really have made a mess of things. Is everything alright? Oh, hello. You see, I'm fond of my arms get soaked, but I must have confused. That sounds a rather complicated way to simply avoid carrying your books. Possibly. But where's the fun in simplicity? New charms and spells have to come from someone. Why not me? I collect the books and remove the charm myself. Except this isn't the first... Our meat told perhaps you could get them for... Why did our meat tell... Oh, to be perfectly honest, I don't think he meant... Our meat spends a lot of time... I suppose I could help. Oh, I'd very... If you could collect... I'm going to have to use Akio to... Got it. Only four more to go. This must be Cressida's diary. I'd want this back too if I were her. No, no need. What for? Revelio. Chris is book. Handy resource indeed, your field. Revelio. I'm most pleased to be included. Hmm. Huh. Oh, look. This is a library, not a dueling mount. <laughs> oh, shit. Wait, can, can I hit you again? 
Revelio. to go. Which I have no idea where. Revelio. Revelio. <gasps> nice. Accio. That's the last book. Now to take them back to Cressida. Oh. Lumos. You can't avara kadavra. Wait, I haven't get my avara kadavra yet. Go, don't give the books. <laughs> Hello, Cressida. I collected your books, including your diary. Oh, what a relief. Thank you. I'll happily take the heavy lot off your hands now. Mm. Unless you want your classmates to know how you really feel about them, you might reward me for my time. Oh, you're not <laughs> at all who I thought you to be. And you're not who I thought you to be. Based upon your diary, you seem terribly judgmental. Fine. I shall pay you. But you cannot begin to imagine what I shall be writing about you next. <laughs> Should never have trusted them. <laughs> yes, you shouldn't. Oh my god. Wait, my wand. Wait, um, I haven't unlocked my wand yet, yeah. Imagine solving a riddle that I mentioned and then not telling me the answer. Practically competing with a Melda to see who's a more infuriating know it all. Oh wait, no, wrong. Fury team, no be told.
Rebellion. There is something I've here, yeah. All of the goblin rebellions off by This is not the first year of every party. I once flew to Ipswich on that. Yes, I did. Don't look at me like that. Ooh. My family has been teaching to raise it for generations. And if a bookish lot one might say. Off on another adventure, are we? Revelio. Hello, looking for me? Looking for me? The horn. And here, yeah. Ooh, thanks. The broom. And the head. Ooh. I think that's it in this room. There's nothing else. Oh, there's a flying. Nothing much. Yeah, finish. Natty, I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all. Professor Weasley tells me that you need to go to Hogsbeat. You must be eager to have your own things again. Oh yes, and I want my to see the village. Voldemort wand. I've been looking forward to it. Yeah. Good. Shall we set off? I intend to give you a first-rate Hogsmeade experience. Ooh. I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to accompany you. Really? Yes, I had planned to extend an invitation to you myself. I thought you might enjoy a butter bee in the village. <laughs> the timing of Professor Weasley's owl was perfect. Oh, I cannot tell you how nice it is to breathe fresh air after being cooped up in ancient rooms. Mm -hmm. Grave mistake to take it as an elective class, believe me. I believe you. Though I suppose you would not really call it elective when your mother was the one who elected that you take it. Hogsmeade is beautiful this time of year. Everyone will tell you to visit at Christmas, but that's one of the few times of year I would rather be indoors. <laughs> not much for the cold, are you? Oh, I do not mind the cold so much, but it has taken some getting used to. I did not grow up around snow. <laughs> oh, wait, over here. I often spot lacewing flies in this area. Oh? What's so special about them? They are interesting to look at. But if you stew them, you can also use them in potion making. <laughs> the graphics is greatly improved, not bad, huh? Look! From the Forbidden Forest! Hippogriffs. I wonder if something startled them. I heard rumors that hippogriffs had been spotted nearby. Do you think Poppy's already seen the hippogriffs? Absolutely. Likely already named them too. France Hoof and Sugarfoot. That's the Forbidden Forest on the left. It's off limits to students, as the name implies. Why is it off limits? Why the is the voice like that? It is too dangerous. I think that calling it forbidden only makes it more alluring. Ah, 
There's Hogsmeade over the crest. Past that ruin. Why are we running? I would spend all of my time exploring if I could. I confess I was surprised when Professor Weasley mentioned that you knew the area, since you're relatively new here. She said that? Akio! She knows more about me than I had thought. I will say, while I certainly learn a great deal in class, much can be gleaned outside of the castle walls. How are you settling in? I remember the weeks that followed my arrival feeling quite strange. Everything was so new and unfamiliar. I'm getting used to things. What about you? Do you finally feel settled? I still miss my homeland, but it is beautiful here too. And getting out of the castle and exploring helped me to adjust quite a bit. Hogwarts has become something of a home now, I would say. Hopefully it will for you too. Got a peek at the prefect's bathroom. Mr. Moon! He is the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Hello, Mr. Moon. Huh? Have you met our new freak yet? Pleasure. Um, you might want to turn back, Miss on I. Uh, turn and run. Is everything no. all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did Mr. Moon? Jemmy, guys, Dougley and Arian, mm, terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. Poor Mr. Moon. Mm. Mr. Moon. I think he had too much fun in the village. I will say that I have never seen him in such a state. <laughs> <laughs> Nearly there. There is much to see outside of the castle walls, not just Hogsmeade. I am happy to explore whenever you'd like. Rumors being what they are about goblins and such, it might be nice to have a friend with you. Revelio. I'll keep that in mind. Thank you. Know where to start. Let me three broomsticks is the place for butter beer, and you can get any sweet you can imagine at Honey Dukes. I could not choose a favorite shop here, it changes with every visit. If it it's got I can tell you that you are certain to find everything you need in Hogsmeade. <laughs> Professor Weasley said that you need to get potion recipes, spellcrafts, some seeds, and... A new wand. Yes. Of course. You I will enjoy Mr. Ollivander, and I am keen to see what you will do with a wand of your own. You should be able to collect everything you need and still have time to explore I'm, a little I as well. One. <laughs> Experience Hogsmeade at your own pace. We can meet up in the town circle when you are finished. Finished. Enjoy yourself. I will see you soon. It's the wand. Oh yeah, there it is. Revelio. Mm. 
Charlie. Blooming beard. Not again. I'll be right with... Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Ah, mm. Hello, sir. I'm looking for... For a new wand, yes. It's about time. Yes, uh, about time. Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect wand, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes, yes. Hmm. Powerful core, ten and a half inches. Hmm. You might do. Here, give this one a try. Well, go ahead, swish. Fish and flick. Hmm, how odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh, dear. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um... We'll find you something, not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, 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 mm. Wait, what the hell? Perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon he... heart string. Let's give this one a try. <laughs> Why is it in white? Oh, 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 my. Oh, goodness. Oh. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes, I think you might be the one. Here, take it. Oh my God! Can I get? Can I? Can I test them? Wait, what? <laughs> it's my wand. I question anyone who teaches defense against dark arts. Why can't an honest day's work be an honest thing? That's my question. Um. A dragon heartstring wand is most powerful, and. Learns quickly. How intriguing. Phoenix Core. I'm curious indeed. Oh, hey for me. What do you think? Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Extraordinary! Oh yes! <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future! <laughs> now, how did that feel? Good! Different! I sense the sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly... I'm eager to try it out. Of course. And a phoenix feather core is terribly selective. This will be an excellent match indeed. <laughs> and the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Oliver. I'll let you get to it. Lumos. Look at my wand. <laughs> does it work? No, it doesn't. Oh, it does. Oh, no, it doesn't, yeah. 
Oh my god, it's so cool. Rebellion. Rebellion. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented blue power. Akio. Welcome to J. Pippin's Potions. Rebellion. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though oh, I right. don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And you'll have read it on the sign of... How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to... You're the student. <clears throat> I set your things as... Is it not the most fast... A potion's really that vast... It may not be, as it's your first, I also offer. But for now, what can I do for you today? Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory, or come back another time if you're in a rush today. I wonder if I can change my eyes.
Revelio. Hello. Oh, come in. I'm sure I've no need to. But I showed them. But look at you. Looking for a change. Why not? I? Some are going for that. But you won't find poison. Why don't you spend... What services do you offer? Nice. What is it you might be interested in? Again. It's my eye color. Why does the ministry require an adventure? It might go Let me also. Does it get any more cosy than Hogsmeade? Revelio. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda stood. I take it you've had it. I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. Of course it is not without. Stay the call. That's certainly something to us. And I... Spellcrafts, I... But I shall let... Prof a potting tape? I believe so, sir. Good. 
Let's look at what we have, shall we? Nothing like finding just... If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory. A pleasure doing business with you. Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. Revelio. I wonder what Merlin would think of a wizard. Akio. I simply pretended. Then it might seem like harmless fun, but not when you just have your head up like a knife. First, the teaching students jinxed it. Revelio. Meet, here I come. Rebellion. yourself though let's have you leave here alive revelio lumos Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Accio! Lumos! yourself though let's have you leave here alive
Hello. Oh, hello. Whew. Sorry I'm in a bit of a tizzy. I was just scolding some of the pla- I suppose it's my own fault. By the way, welcome to Do- Oh, if there wasn't the constant. Except, of course, for- Mind you don't- Someone died here. Aye. Fortunate, really, that it was just the one. I think I'll just have a look. Very well. What do you have for- well, you have for let's see we show you some of what's available. Oh, this is all the plants, the plants, uh... But your things will be safe with me. Until they're sold, doors always open. You be sure. seen this one before. Rebellion. Lumos. Well, hello there. Oh, hello there. Please come in. Revelio. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you, then? Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as... Well, bravo! Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way, and this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. 
In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Let me guess, you're after something fresh. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. Well, that's everything. Better go and find Natty. You have a good head for business, haven't you? No one can say I don't keep a stacked shelf. Rebellion. 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 Rebellion.
Does it get any more cosy than Hogsmeade? Levioso! Accio! Levioso! Ah, I have everything. I see what you meant about not being able to pick a favorite shop. <laughs> we should walk around a bit more. Perhaps today is the day I finally pick one. Kidding him at all. Keep at it. We have to wear him down. Protect him. Stupid. Arrest him, Mamma. What was that? Levioso. I was trying to beat him at his own game. I like it. Do more of it. Expelliarm. Goodness! A second troll! Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard! Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that? The makings of an... If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. Oh, hello there. A, a moment, if you would. I will see what he wants. Reparo. Lucky they didn't do more damage. Accio. Reparo. Levioso! 
Repair her. One less thing for Officer Singer to worry about. Levioso! We were just talking about you. Well, aren't we the loveliest of them all? And I don't say things I don't mean. Revelio! Rebellion. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself, uh, Augustus Hill, Clothier Extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin. Order but of I can Merlin. offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizard wear and among my... And, as I suspected... Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very... It's the least I can... Uh, now, uh, let's... Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. You won't be disappointed. That's a glad... I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. What an extraordinary introduction to Hogsmeade. I would say that we, and you in particular, have earned at least one butterbeer. Shall we head to the Three Broomsticks? Sounds like a good idea. Wonderful. Just down this way, then. I sell even more but Should you be inclined, you're most welcome to peruse my shop at your leisure. If I haven't said it before, it's a pleasure doing business with you. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by whenever you're about. Assuming it is not too busy, you might even meet Serona, the owner. She is a charming hostess and a powerful witch. Good one to know. You said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who's this child? 
What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. <sighs> Let's go. Did they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Vanrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Now, what can I... Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one, single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thanks for this. My pleasure. I will say, trolls in Hogsmeade, that's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... Uh, 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 timely. Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? Your clientele's not what it used to be, Sarona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. <laughs> I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. You got that wand. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, Theophilus. The Three Broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butterbeer forever. <sighs> Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls, Ranrock, and Rookwood. What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. I think that now might be a good time to head back to the castle. I am certainly glad Serona was there. And that she isn't intimidated by thugs like Brookwood and Harlow. I want to understand what's going on, and I hope you will tell me. But for the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley will certainly hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. I don't want her to worry.
Can I end it here? Oh, wait. Come and see me. I've discovered something in the locket we found at Gringotts. Lumos. Really mastered that one, haven't you? I hear Feldcroft's been getting attacked by Randrock's loyalists. You'll not find me there anytime soon. Sometimes I wish I needed a new watch. Revelio. To visit Ollivanders again. I could open one boxes all day. <sighs> I'll be weeks from Spintwitches to such interesting notions about how to improve rooms. Who's this? Revelio. Revelio. Lumos. Okay, I'm gonna end it here. I have other things to do. 